director at Shumla Archaeological Research and Education Center. Um, I have been associated with Shumla in some way since 2004 uh, when I met Carolyn Boyd uh, at Texas A&M University. Um, I was a graduate student um, there in chemistry and she was teaching anthropology and so I learned about the rock art through her. Um, I had also studied rock art all around the world, but not in Texas. And so she gave me the opportunity to come and see the rock art in the Lower Pecos for the first time in 2004. And it just, it really changed my life. And to understand that archaeology was sort of right here in my backyard and not necessarily in some far exotic place. Um, and something that I could really relate to. I taught chemistry at the University of Central Arkansas uh, for 12 years and in that um, capacity I started collaborating uh, with Shumla and with Carolyn uh, to study the rock art in the Lower Pecos. Um, my first visit back was about 2010 and once I came back I couldn't stop coming back. I just came back every year. Um, and then I would come back once a year, and then the next year I come back twice a year, and the next year I come back like three times a year. Um, so what drew me to Shumla was uh, honestly the people. Um, seeing um, young archaeologists, uh, people like Amanda Castaneda and Charles Koenig working with Carolyn Boyd, and the collaborations that I was able to build. Um, it became a place that I wanted to come to, not only for the amazing cultural resource that was here, but because of the um, relationships between the people who were so passionate about studying the rock art. My proudest Shumla moment is um, saying that I'm a part of the team that I am a Shumla staff member. Not just that I am collaborating with Shumla, but that I am Shumla, I am part of Shumla. Um, there have been some research highs, um, you know, visits to sites with people and um, remarkable moments and, uh, you know, finding out that the rock art is 5,500 years old. Uh, but the biggest part is just being part of the team. biggest challenges for me um, was moving from an academic world into the nonprofit world. Um, the idea that um, you know you have to fundraise every dollar um, not just for your research project but so that your staff has a salary um, and you know it's just um, humbling for me that people uh, would donate money for something that I'm working on. And um, I know the work we're doing is so important um, and I'm just so thankful for that. My biggest hope for Shumla for the next 25 years is that the scientific advances that we're making and the technology that we're using will not just be used to highlight uh, advance in the study of rock art, but in the advance of the study of humankind and the past. And this idea that um, people in the past are just as sophisticated as us would be something that's just thought of as regular. And that that connection to the past will help people understand maybe a connection with people who are different from them even in today's world. So one of my goals for Shumla for the next 25 years is for us to collaborate more on an international level. We are a leader in rock art documentation and interpretation and scientific analysis. Um, but I would also like us to um, take those skills and help others around the world uh, study rock art all over the world, which is an international phenomenon um, of the human past. And I would also like us to be able to collaborate with those others and learn from them 
and see how other uh, people in Europe and Australia and South America are studying their rock art so that we can better lead uh, as an organization and we can see the field advance to even higher bounds.